Good afternoon, everyone. It's Colonel Aldous Valor here with you once again. Now, after my last video, I received many different comments from many different people, all asking why I would go after Shani for Christ. Why would I attack somebody who's below me? And let's be honest here. If I couldn't attack people that were below me, there wouldn't be anyone left for me to attack at all. Also, and I think this is the bigger point, that it's uh, my name, reputation, and channel on the line with every video that I put out. I don't see, really, how any of you get a say in the matter. And I guess the final answer is that for years, I have made a name for myself making fun of the stupid shit that Christians say on YouTube. Why would I give up a gold mine that is as endless as Shani for Christ? Especially when she keeps giving us gems like this one. Roll the clip. Right now, the body of Christ is going through the most turmoil, the most chaos they have ever had at the moment. You have some countries where they're being persecuted and killed and beheaded. You have other cases where their Christians are constantly drilled and told to conform to the world's ideals. We have a lot of that going on right now. We're told that we're supposed to do things that we feel convicted to do. We're told that we shouldn't be practicing our faith out in public. We're told that we should be quiet about our faith, that we shouldn't speak the word of God. We've been told all these things. We've been enduring all these things. Yes, it really is a shame that Christians are persecuted as much as they are. It really is a shame that we live in a nation where we will never have a Christian president. It really is a shame that we live in a country where Christians can't walk around every single day wearing an emblem of their faith around their neck everywhere that they decide to go. It really is a shame that we can't live in conservative Christian America where abstinence-only sex education is the law of the land, which will lead to more teenage pregnancies because teenagers are going to have sex anyway, but the sex that they're going to have is unprotected because they don't know what condoms are. And of course, they can't abort these fetuses, they can't abort these pregnancies, because abortion is a sin! So this is going to lead to more high school dropouts, because these unwed mothers can't finish school, because they're too busy working on their second or third child. And then this is going to lead to even more teenage pregnancies, because there's even more teenagers now because these kids are caught in an endless hamster wheel of fate and it's not like that they're going to get anywhere because they can't get an education because they're too busy birthing babies and their kids are going to grow up in poverty because the system that loved them when they were pregnant hate them now that they have children and have to leech off the system the system that they themselves created to cultivate babies and then to just cast them aside after they're done. It really is a shame that we can't live in that America. Why do I go after Shani for Christ? <laughs> because Shani for Christ is going to homeschool her children. Shani for Christ her kids are going to grow up believing that the moon is not real, that the moon landing never happened because their mother never went to the moon. They're going to grow up believing that World War II never happened because their mother never went to Europe. They're going to grow up believing that Barack Obama was never elected to President of the United States of America because their mother has never set foot in a voting booth. 
They're going to grow up believing that Jesus Christ, the Son of the Lord God Almighty, rose from the dead three days later because their mother feels it in their heart. Why do I go after Shani for Christ? It started off as just a troll. It really did. I got into an argument with the deli clerk evangelist and I promised him a video and that's how it started. And then that video got flagged down and that made it personal. And the more that I looked into Shani for Christ in my personal vendetta against her, the more that I learned the more that I've determined that Shani for Christ is a danger to herself and others and the deli clerk evangelist is the biggest enabler of this destructive behavior. The next biggest enablers of this destructive behavior would be anyone who flags down any videos who speak out against Shani for Christ. They're enablers of destructive behavior and the things that she believes in causes her to become a menace to society. I've been Aldous Valor, and you can go fuck the dog. Now, for those of you who are wondering, um, the second video I made during the Bacon Gate scandal, uh, You Can't Keep Aldous Down, the one where I'm demanding an explanation for uh, why the first video, Shanny for Christ Dogfucker, was flagged down, the second one that was flagged down, uh, was flagged down because of misleading metadata, which did not cause a strike on my channel, but the, uh, the nameless, faceless... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the deputy uh, did it as a show of strength to show that he could flag down any video that he wanted. That video has been restored. You can go check that video out by clicking the link that I provided to you in the description of this video.